Hello, boys and girls, and happy Sabbath. I want to thank you guys for coming uh, to see me today. Um, as you can see, I'm back in my little corner again, uh, doing it solo again. But Jesse will be uh, back here at the end of this video to join me into continuing our, our, our video. But today, let's, uh, but first of all, let's start off with prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you and we praise you for all your wonderful blessings. We ask that you please keep everyone safe, dear Lord. We ask special blessings on all those who are hurting and suffering from COVID to any other things that they are suffering from, dear Lord. We ask special blessings on every household that is watching today, whether it's on Zoom or YouTube, dear Lord. We ask uh, special blessings on every student, every teacher, every parent, anybody else, dear Lord, that we know needs these special blessings. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, boys and girls. So today I'm going to start you off with our message for today. Today's message is we worship the God who guides us. Isn't that the truth? We should be worshiping God because he guides us through all our things that we do in life, right? So that is the first one. Remember, we worship the God who guides us. The second thing is, and you guys know I love all our memory verses, is our memory verse. So let's start. It's a really long one, so I'm going to try to go as slow as I can, and then we'll try to say it all fast together, okay? So the first part is, glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth, peace to those on whom his favor rests. Luke 2.14. Yes, it's a long one, right? So one more time. Ready? Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. Luke 2.14. Now it's a piece of cake, right? One more time. Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace for those on whom his favor rests. Luke 2 14. So today I'm going to share a little story I created with you guys about our shepherds. Now these shepherds are the ones that were or went to go see uh, Christ when he was born. So we are going to, I'm going to tell you guys the story through their eyes. Because we always hear about the animals that were there. I know you've seen that Disney movie. And we always hear about how Mary and Joseph, their side of the story. But have we ever heard how the shepherds felt? How they got there? Well, guess what? Today, I'm going to show you a little video. And it's going to show you guys how they got there. How they worshipped God. How God guided them there. And then how they, they, they worshipped our Messiah. So... Without further ado, I show you this little video. See you back here. Bye. Still amazed at what they had seen in the middle of the night, the wide awake shepherds shuddered among themselves. The angel choir had come to them in the night, was gone now. They had watched as the angels moved farther away into the dark sky. What a message the angel had delivered to the shepherds today in the town of David. A Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes, cloths and laying in a manger. Could it be true? Would they find the Messiah, their Savior, in the nearby city? Bethlehem was known as the city of David, and it was a short distance from the hillside where the shepherds watched their sheep. But why would the Messiah be laying in a manger? That's what the angel had said. A manger? How could that be? Could the Messiah, the Savior of the world, have come to them as a baby? They knew that newborn babies were wrapped in soft pieces of clothes to keep them warm and dry. But babies were kept at a home, in a house, not in a barn with animals. It seemed so strange. Let's go to Bethlehem and see for ourselves, said one of the shepherds. The Lord has sent this message to us, said another. These were angels, I'm sure of it, called out another. I believe we should go too. So it, was in, so it was that in the middle of the night, the shepherds rushed off to Bethlehem. Once there, they searched until they found, found the place the angel had described. There in the place that sheltered animals, they found what they were looking for. A baby wrapped in soft clothes laying in a manger. 
how did they find the place where the baby had been born? Surely God guided them there. And once there, they told the parents of the angel's visit and with and the beautiful angel choir who sang those words of praise. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to men. Together in silence and awe, the shepherds knelt around the manger and worshipped their savior as the baby's parents looked on. All too soon, the shepherds had to return to care for their sheep. Filled with joy, they had to tell others. As they left the city, they could not keep the good news to themselves, and they spread the word to all they met. Glorifying and praising God, they spoke in awe of the angel's visit, of the babe in the manger, and of the God who sent the message to them. Joseph and Mary were pleased that the shepherds had come. They had gladly invited them in and listened to their story. They too were amazed at all that had happened. Surely God had guided the shepherds, and he could guide and he would guide the infant's parents as they cared for the precious gift God had given them. The shepherds would never forget that night. They had seen the fulfillment of the prophecies they had studied for years. God had guided them guided them to their savior and they had worshiped him and neither would mary forget the bible tells us that she treasured all these things and pondered them in their heart in her heart she had become the mother of the messiah the savior of the world whatever happened in the future truly she was blessed among women hello and welcome back guess who's with me today jesse's here to help me do a bible study with you guys so first things first, what do you guys think of the story? It was pretty interesting, right? I mean, they told us the story of how Jesus was born through the shepherd's eyes, how the angels came and told the shepherds where to find him, how they, how he was going to be clothed. How, what a beautiful story. And I know that some of us have heard this story many different times. I know my personal story of how I enjoy listening to it and sometimes even watching it is through Charlie Brown. Because how they explain the story and how they go about telling us as well. Now, here is some stuff that we're going to do today. So I hope you have your Bible, because I do. We do, actually. So we're going to have a little Bible study. The people of Jesus' day didn't have the Bible as we know it today. They had scrolls with books of what we call the Old Testament. The shepherds probably couldn't read, but they had heard the prophecies about the promised Messiah at the synagogue, which was like a church. Let's look at some of the texts about the Messiah that they probably studied. So here I'm gonna give you guys the verses. If your mom and daddy can help you, that's great. Uh, for today, I've actually already like highlighted the verses so Jesse can actually be easy on to find them. And Jesse's gonna be reading them. So hopefully you can join Jesse as he reads uh, the Bible verses. So the first one's going to be Isaiah 40, 40, 10, 11. So let's go to that one first. All right, Jesse. Let's see. Where, so are you guys there? Can you guys say amen if you're there? All right. Let's see. Ready? Who's ready? Who's with me? All right. Here we go. We're going to start reading Isaiah 40, 10, and 11. Go for it, Jesse. The Lord and the King is coming with power. He, he rules with a powerful arm. He has set his people free. He is bringing them back and his reward. He has won the battle over their enemy. He, he takes care of his flock like a shepherd. He gathers the lamb in his arms. He carries them close to, to his heart. He gently leads, leads those that have little ones. Good job. So that was Isaiah 40, verse 10 and 11. Now let's go to Ezekiel 34, verse 11, 12. All right, let's see here. Okay, we're here. Are you guys there? Can I get an amen if you're there? All right, let's go for it. All right, Jesse, you're up. The Lord and King said, I myself will search for my sheep. I will look after them. A shepherd herd looks after his scattered flock when he is with them. And 
I will look after my sheep. I will save them from all the places where where they were scattered on a dark and cloudy day. All right. Thank you, Jesse. Amen. Now we're going to read Psalms 23. So let's go to Psalms 23. And this one's a little bit longer. Um, again, if you can get mommy and daddy to help you, that would be great. So here, I'm going to help Jesse read some of it, and then he's going to read some of it. So I'm going to start us off. So if you're there, amen. All right, guys. The Lord is my shepherd. He gives me everything I need. He lets me lie down in the fields of green grass. He leads me beside quiet waters. He gives me new strength. He guides me on the right path for the honor of his name. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid. You are with me, your shepherd's rod and staff comfort me. You prepare a feast for me right in front of my enemies. You pour oil on my head, my cup runs over. I am sure that your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life and I will, and I will live in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Amen, guys. Well, as you can see, what we studied today was about the shepherds, right? So how do you think the shepherds felt when they heard that the Savior called himself a shepherd? What do you guys think? Do you have an answer? Do you think you have an answer? No? Well, it meant a lot to them because it was something they understood very well. They felt that Jesus understood their lives. So that's a good, good way of seeing that, right? Now, what did the shepherds do to show that they were happy with, happy that Jesus understood them? Do you know? What do you think? Not even a clue? No? Mm, Jesse. Well, they worshipped him and they told others about him. Like in the story, the, the, once the shepherds found out and they visited and worshipped uh, the Messiah, they, they took off right back home and they were spreading the word like wildfire. They wanted to tell everybody they came in contact that the Messiah was born, that he was here. And they didn't expect him to be born in a manger and come as a baby, but they knew that the Messiah was here. Why? Because God told them, God guided them. God took them to this place. They, you know, God sent his beautiful angel to tell them and sing to them and tell them about, about where our Messiah was at. Now, uh, just so they were also that they were very thankful for God's gift of Jesus and they were glad he had sent his angels to guide them to baby Jesus. This brings us to our message again. What is it, guys? We worship, we worship, we worship the God, the God who guides us, who guides us. And our memory verse, guys, one more time is. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest. Heaven. Heaven. And on earth. And on earth. Peace. Peace. To those on whom his. To those whom are his. No, to those. To those. On whom. On whom. His favor rests. His favor rests. His favor rests. His favor rests. <laughs> I told you guys this was a hard one even for Jesse who's sitting next to me. Luke 2 14. Luke 2 14. All right, one more time, Jesse. Ready? Glory to God. Glory to God. In the highest heaven. In the highest heaven. And on earth. And on earth. Peace. Peace. To those. To those. On whom. On whom. His favor rests. His favor rests. Luke 2 14. Luke 2 14. All right, guys, I want to thank you guys for being here with us today. I truly appreciate that you guys come back every Saturday to come see me or the rest of the teachers. We truly appreciate the love. So I hope that you guys have a wonderful rest of your Sabbath and that you guys have a wonderful Christmas and Happy New Year. So we uh, hope to see you guys soon. Bye. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year.